can I use color as a trademark? People ask me this question a lot. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and copyright attorney, and I'm gonna spend the next three minutes talking about color as a trademark. So anything can serve as a trademark. I repeat this all the time, and it's true that under United States law, any, we call it a device, that means anything, can serve as a trademark so long as it distinguishes your goods and services from other people's goods and services. In some cases, a color can serve as a trademark, and that's what I want to do today's case study about. We're all very famous with that luxury brand. I won't even name it. We already know what it is. They have a red sole on their shoes. And somebody asked me the other day, Angela, does Christian Louboutin have a trademark on that? And I said, well, I'm pretty sure they do, but let me go do some research and I'll do a video about it. So here that is. The answer is yes, Christian Louboutin does have a registered trademark for the color red for their uh, sole, the sole of their shoes. So let's go have a look at it. I'm gonna shrink myself into the corner here. And here they are in all their glory, the uh, very coveted red sole shoes. You can see them right here. Um, you can see the red part of the sole peeking out at the edge of the photograph. And if we go to the, another view, we can see it a little bit more clearly. Again, you can see this iconic red sole on this shoe. So what does their trademark application look like or their trademark registration look like? Let's have a look at that too. You can see here, let me scooch this over so we can see the whole screen. All right, so you can see here that we're looking at the red sole. This is how it's presented to the trademark office. The goods and services are women's high fashion designer footwear. So it's not just any footwear, it's high fashion designer footwear. <laughs> and there is a color, red or pink, single color used on a portion of the goods. And it's called a shape, it's a design for a single color and you can see the single color shown here on the drawing, right? So the description of the mark is this, the colors red are claimed as a feature of the mark. The mark consists of a red lacquered outsole on footwear that contrasts with the color of the adjoining upper portion of the shoe. The dotted lines are not part of the mark but are intended only to show placement of the mark. And you can't really see it here, it doesn't render well on this small drawing, but there is actually a dotted outline of this shoe that shows where the red is not, and the red shows where the red is. So it's kind of interesting how we claim these things here in trademark land. But I wanted to show you that because it's an example of how color is used as a trademark. If you have trademark questions, drop them into the comments below. I'll answer them on a future live. I love to do that. I think it's a lot of fun for everybody, including me. You can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net. You can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash trademark doctor. I have a huge YouTube channel. It's got lots of videos on it about trademarks and copyrights. Just go to YouTube and search Trademark Doctor. You will find me there.